Hello family, welcome back to Jackie's Kitchen if you're new here, Karibu. And today guys, we're going to make donuts and let's get going. To start with, I'm going to mix our 2 teaspoons of yeast with warm water. And I'm going to cover our cup for around 2 to 5 minutes to allow the yeast to activate, to be activated. You can see I'm making sure that I'm, I'm mixing the yeast very well we want it to be well incorporated in the warm water and now it's been two minutes already you can see now in our mixing bowl i'm going to mix one cup of milk two tablespoons of sugar which i'm going to give a stir to make sure that the, so the, the sugar is well dissolved in milk After this, I'm going to add one egg. As you can see, I'm going to incorporate everything together nicely. And then we are going to work with our flour, wheat flour, I mean. A fork works well for me while mixing the egg. I'm now going to add our yeast. I'm now going to start kneading the, the dough. I'm going to put the wheat flour in two batches. So this is the first batch. Actually, it's three cups of wheat flour. And an eighth teaspoon of salt. I'm using my spatula to mix. I'm now going to add our second batch of wheat flour. It's becoming a little hand to, to mix with the spatula, to make the dough with the spatula, so I'm going to use my hands. It's a little messy, but the results are worth it, guys. If you have a mixer, Please, I do recommend that you use it. But for today, I'm going to use my hands, guys. I'm now going to add two, two tablespoons of margarine and continue kneading. It takes around seven minutes to to have the dough ready so a lot of patience is required patience 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 all through guys it's been around six minutes and you can see our dough is very nice it's no longer as cheeky and if you don't like the dough sticking to your hands I normally use oil. I apply some oil on my hands. You can see. I don't like the dough sticking on my hands. And now that our dough is ready, I'm going to put it in a mixing bowl. First of all, I'm going to apply some oil in the mixing bowl to avoid the dough from sticking. And I'm going to do the same to the dough. Our dough is really nice and soft. I hope you can see. Put 
put the dough in the mixing bowl and cover it with a kitchen towel and let it rest for like two hours and I'm going to put it in my oven with the lights on for two hours it's been two hours guys and you can see our dough has risen very well more than two times it's pre its initial size and now I'm giving it a punch if you have not to, you, you don't have a donut cutter there's no worries today I'm improvising everything so there's no excuse for you not to make donuts at all And by the way guys, thank you so much for the support you're offering each and every day to this account. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Imagine most of my viewers and all my subscribers. So please, if you're viewing this and you have not subscribed, please do so. Become part of the family. I'm going to cut this into, into small balls as you can see guys I'm now going to make small balls and like I was saying if you don't have a donut cutter no worries you're still going to make your donuts just follow this procedure make sure you watch to the end and you're going to see how the results are amazing. I'm using a bottle lid to cut, to make the donuts. You can see guys, they're nice. After, uh, after I'm done making these donuts, guys, I'm going to allow them to rest for like 30 minutes. And then we are going to deep fry them in medium, let's say medium heat. This is going to take like 30 minutes and we are done. This is after 30 minutes and you can see our donuts have started rising. And now we are going to deep fry them, guys. If you have a better method of putting them in oil without de destroying the shape, please tell me. But for me, I normally use the parchment paper. And then after the donuts are in the oil, I'm going to take out the, the parchment paper a bit more easily. can see guys I'm using my fork to lift the parchment paper and then yeah I'm going to continue defrying this yeah so simple when our donuts are done on one side I flip them to make sure that the other side cooks well like you can see guys so please 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 try this one and you're not going to regret try this recipe
you can see they are nice and brown golden brown i love them guys what do you say what do you think wow these are the end results guys and to make them sugar donuts you're going to sprinkle just some sugar on top using a sieve I use confectionery sugar, which you can also make at home. I'm going to this to make this video for you guys, and let me make let me show you how they look in the inside. I hope you can see well, guys. They're well cooked, so nice. I can assure you.